Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice Babies. I'm here at St. Lucia History Lone Shot, St. Lucia History Beach, St. Lucia History Mouth. I think it's the same place at the moment. I don't know how far the mouth has pivoted to the north. It's still very much dark as you can see. The water is shallow, so I don't know where the competition is going to launch today, but I am here to observe it. What a beautiful sunrise here at St. Lucia History Beach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Slight northeasterly blowing, not much. It's the ocean calmer than yesterday, it looks quite like it. The waves coming through is barely four feet. Ocean colors is beautiful, it's ginger beer already, uh, the stream out and the tide is not pushing yet. Tail end of the spurwing geese. They sat, so, sat down so beautifully there in the peninsula. And something spooked them. There's some plugs that got that stuck coming down the Philosium Sindusi channel. The mud bank completely exposed. And there you can see the issue now is very, very very narrow it's an incredible incredible sunrise here this morning at St. Lucia today we can see the other mud bank is eroding under the wave action but clearly, clearly not fast enough to move this peninsula in this wet cycle which is coming in April we won't have this much rain next year, I can guarantee you that it's a scientific fact so this peninsula is not going to move without human help so it's going to be stuck here and now on the side we can even see how narrow that history mouth has become there. It's scary. And Nipat is not even done yet. On the south side of the history mouth we can see there's a sandbank forming from south. Right to the north. Right there in the east. That sandbank goes straight through to the north right across the estuary mouth in such a way that the, it's too shallow for the boats to exit there now on neap tide even on high tide spring tide high tide it was enough for the boats to exit but right now it's not gonna happen so people who have asked me how deep the estuary mouth is Incredible how resilient this mud is and breaking up even in the salt, face of salt water. I thought that the capillary action of the salt water will work its way into the mud and break it up very very quickly. Boy how wrong I was. here where the sand is washing over onto the mud I'm pretty confident we're gonna get carbonation happening soon we're gonna get uh, solidifying happening soon so um, 
I've been promoting it that we're going to see in my lifetime, which is probably, if I'm lucky, another seven years. Uh, we're going to see the formation of carbonated sandstone rock right here. Now we can see on this bowl of clay here how the the sea sand, the shelves, the mollusk, the phytoplankton is impregnating into the layer of the clay. It's very, very, very clear. So here, this is about what's this? A couple of weeks old since that clay broke loose from the mud bank, and it's already solidifying. That is how it's being turned into a rock. And here we can see the bentonite rock and the ocean-borne sediment washing onto the bentonite rock. And right over there, they, the bentonite and the ocean is being solidified. The ocean sediment is being solidified. So this is going to become our North Pier if we don't remove it. And then if, if that happens, we have lost all this as a nursery. And it's man-made because of this, the dam wall that was built here in 2017, this is man-made. So, although I'm very excited that I see how carbonated sandstone rock is formed in my lifetime, Trust me, it's a very exciting uh, cycle on Earth to go through. But I don't, I don't think that knowledge is worth what we're sacrificing in the heritage of our children. I just want to focus once more on how narrow the history mouth is. I have done enough videos now to tell you about the sediment buildup across the history map that is no more a secret now we're going a little bit back into that channel over there and there's depots there's depots Dominant bull is using the high ground against the young one. Well, guys, if you want information of the hippos, go and find us with Sean or Marius. They can give you all the information you need about the hippo. It's not what my morning beach walk videos is about. My morning beach walk videos is to show you what you see. Yeah. To go and recite the digitization period, the weight of the hippo, the grazing of the hippo, the consumption of the grass, the spreading of the seeds, their role in cutting tidal channels. I can quickly show you the role that they have in cutting tidal channels. Same. There's a tidal channel right there, that's cut by the hippos going in and out of the water on a daily basis. Tidal channel captures the high tide, the energy of the high tide. It retains it as the water that goes into low tide. It then gives the water an extra boost like a turbocharge to push the sediment out of the ocean. Now we need more of those. over there then we can blast all the sediment ocean-borne sediment out of the mouth of the history
got some honey dust feeding. Wow, I've yet to see a big flock of honey dust feed like this at the history mouth on the mud banks. That is totally a new sighting to me. What are they pulling out there? They're eating crabs. Oh, well done. Both farmland vultures, the breeding pairs here at the peninsula, it's in Bisha history. How beautiful, beautiful is that? That's the one flying, the other one is still sitting. I was chasing them. Look at the crow chasing the farm that vulture. Well, that one left, whatever it was feeding it left behind. The crow got the upper hand of it. Here is a pretty market for me. Sit here and longer a second. Right, there we can see the bobble, the carrion that the palm nut the vulture was feeding on. So, um, for those that don't believe me that palm nut vultures feed on carrion, there you go. There's the tame one that allows me to get so close to it. And now we will be moving away so that they can continue feeding and fighting the crow. Yeah, like me. But not today. It's weekend. It can be early on the weekend. Yeah. No, it's just not. It's not a good thing. 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 Frank, are we with no privilege or not? Any? You have to see how you are here. You are welcome. Very, very thank you. Look how good it is. Look how good it is. Yo!